If I'm in a minor key and I'm playing something, it's not necessarily blues, maybe blues based, but something like, uh, you know, uh, Eric Clapton, Layla, or or maybe some of the Pink Floyd type songs. Um, so you're, you're in a minor key, um, so you don't want to use a blues scale. You're, you're happy to use a minor pentatonic, but you want to add something to that. And the note that I always go to, because... Uh, I've seen so many other guitar or great guitar players use it. Uh, Eric Clapton, David Gilmour, uh, so many. It's what's what we call the major second. And the major second note is very easy to find. Uh, so whatever key you're in, it's just a tone up or two frets up. In this case, I'm in the key of D. I'm going to show you, show you this in the key of D. So two frets up or a tone up from D is an E. So if I play a D... <laughs> There's the major second, D. Major second. Anywhere, anywhere there's a D, go up two frets. And that's the major second of D. And it's the same for any key. You just go up two frets or a tone from the root note and you have the major second. I play a minor pentatonic without the major without that major second, and then I'll play it with, and hopefully you can hear the, the difference. So if I play some minor pentatonic with D, add the major second. It just spices it spices it up um, somewhat. It's a great note to add. Um, also, it's a great connecting note between the root note. And what we'll call the minor third. Now, as I say, doing this in D. So if I play, um, there's a D note, and the minor third uh, is from the, you know, well, it's from a lot of scales, but it's in the, it's in the minor pentatonic. In this case, it's an, an F note. Now, in between, we'll have that major second. So it's a great connecting note between those two. You can slide into, you know, the minor third. Bend it. It's just a great uh, expressive note uh, to add to a minor pentatonic. One note, and it just takes your takes your lead playing to a new level. Okay, all the best. Cheers.